Hi Sagittarius, this is your December monthly tarot reading. My name is Hannah, welcome to my channel. And it's such an honor to be a part of your wondrous experience today. So I'm gonna shuffle you guys a general energy from my magical spell cards deck. This is basically just gonna give me a general rundown of what's gonna be happening in the month of December. Um, and then we can build off of that and see what advice spirit has to give based on what we see here. So Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, happy birthday to any Saggies out there. I love Sagittarius season. It's just so fun. I always have such a fun Sag season. I also have multiple Sag placements in my chart. Uh, my Moon is in Sag, my Venus is in Sag, my Pluto is in Sagittarius. Um, I don't know if I have any other placements. I have to look. But I do have a very Sag dominated chart, so I really do consider myself very Sagittarian in the way that I do things and stuff. So your first crowning energy this month, guys, is passion. So I'm seeing something changing here in the month of December, something regarding your feelings, like your feelings may be changing in a situation. Um, you may be leaving behind something where there was a lot of passion, maybe it was a relationship, or maybe it was a job that you had a lot of passion for. And I'm seeing Sagittarian, you, Sagittarian, I'm seeing Sagittarius, where you have kind of come into this sense of like power within yourself. Like you've come into this awareness or this knowing, and through this knowledge, you've gained some kind of self-empowerment. So I'm seeing where you're really rising up in the month of December. You're rising up and you're getting your justice. You know, some of you are really gonna be receiving that payout from something that you put your heart and soul into. There's something here, maybe it was a marriage or a relationship. You've put your heart and soul into this. And I think for some of you, you know, you've put your heart and soul into making the necessary changes in order for whatever this is to work out. So you're going to be receiving that payout. But I am seeing where some of you have possibly disconnected yourself from something. Um, there was maybe a situation with a Libra that could have gone cold. I do see Sagittarius, if you are dealing with an air sign, I think this person is going to be reaching out and, and initiating communication. You could be dealing with a Libra or you could have these placements in your chart. But I do see where someone's very passionate about what they're saying. Like they're very, um, almost like worked up. Like somebody here might be getting worked up over something. Um, somebody speaks with passion. I'm also hearing like social justice, social rights. So somebody here might be passionately speaking um, about social justice or about human rights or something like that. That's kind of what I'm getting with the Justice card and the Queen of Swords together. Is like somebody here is laying down the law for human rights. So some of you may be like activists or something like that, or you may become inspired to do some sort of activism during this time. I mean, we are in Sagittarian season, so this is a very prime time to want to um, do philanthropy and you know involve yourself in those matters because some of you feel like something isn't fair like there's a situation where you don't feel like it played out fairly so some of you are going to be getting that fairness in the month of December like you're going to be the one that levels the playing field here that's what you're doing this month Sagittarius you're leveling the playing field in a situation you're bringing it back down to a place of balance where maybe somebody here, possibly an air sign, maybe even a Scorpio, had the upper hand. Somebody is going to be doing their research. They're really going to be studying, whether it's this person um, or studying some kind of situation, analyzing something with the Queen of Swords, very analytical energy. Um, you're really going to be looking into something this month in order to create a sense of balance or fairness. And it's like you're looking into this because you're just so passionate about it. Like for some of you, it's like you have to get to the bottom of this, whatever it is.
King of Cups. Yeah, so somebody here, possibly a water sign, maybe a Scorpio, is going to be initiating communication after a long period of analyzation. Yeah. Someone here is studying you very closely, Sag. Um, I'm almost getting somebody here who's like fascinated by you or they're just very intrigued by you. Um, strong water sign energy. Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces that you're dealing with. I do have death at the bottom of the deck, so I'm getting a strong Scorpionic energy. Like somebody here is just kind of, it's almost I'm getting like a calculated, kind of patiently waiting for the right moment type of energy. Like there's somebody here who is waiting for the right moment to reach out. This person may be like, I don't know, Sag, this is kind of an obsessive energy. So there is definitely a Scorpionic presence here, whether you're dealing with a Scorpio or not. The energy that this person is embodying is very Scorpionic. Um, so I'm getting the vibe of somebody who is actively studying you, or you might be actively studying this person. Could be vice versa. Um, but somebody is here, they're trying to get clarity about something. So there could be somebody here, Sag, in the month of December that comes around and asks for clarity. Maybe you yourself are going to be reaching out to a professor or you could be reaching out to some kind of boss or an interviewer or something like that and getting clarity about a position for some of you, especially if you work in the realms of law um, or you just work for the government. I'm seeing you, some of you coming out and getting clarity about something involving the government or involving a position in a law firm or with the government. Interesting, it might be you that reaches out to somebody here. Somebody is pissed. <laughs> somebody is pissed, okay? I'm just gonna say that right now. Um, I don't know if this is you. Um, if you are a Sagittarius with Libra in your chart, I think that this is you. If you are dealing with strong air sign placements or maybe another fire sign, this person's pissed. I'm just saying that right now. Like somebody here is really angry and they're passionate about their anger. Like there is, this isn't just your typical everyday anger. This is like somebody who they've sat on it. They've let it boil. <laughs> um, and they're going to be expressing that anger in the month of December. Like somebody here is gonna come around and they're coming around rather aggressive, but it's coming from like a good place. I don't know, that's kind of what I'm picking up. It's like the anger is justified, Sag. That's kind of what I'm seeing. Like somebody here is extremely angry because something was not fair. They feel like something was not justified. And if this is you, and I feel like for some of you it is, especially if you have strong air sign placements, um, your anger is justified. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah, but somebody here is carefully dreaming up some kind of opportunity for themselves. So if you're a Sag with water in your chart, I do feel as though some of you are going to be manifesting some kind of new idea or new inspiration to study for something. Like I'm seeing somebody who is wanting to learn a new skill or wanting to educate themselves. Maybe you're going back to school. But I see this desire to really study a passion in particular. So some of you may be getting into your hobbies and your passions, entertaining them, spending time honing those abilities. I'm seeing a lot of that this month in December. It's like really focusing on the things that make you happy. And because of that, Sag, you know, you're getting victory in this situation. Like I'm telling you, you're honestly coming up on top in this situation. Like some of you are going to be getting your justice and your victory, and that's going to come in the form of your happiness and success. But... All in all here, Sag, you make somebody very happy. That's what I pick up too. Like somebody here is just, they feel like you are a prize or something of that nature. They feel like you're the grand prize. Or being with you is like a prize. 
but there's something that's uh, there's something about this energy that's just giving me like a win like somebody feels like they've won you over or um somebody might be feeling like they've won in a situation and this could go back to that energy that i was picking up earlier about leveling the playing field I think this is you that's doing this. I think you're the one that's leveling the playing field here. It's like, you know, somebody thought, somebody thought they had you fooled, Sag. That's what I'm picking up. Somebody thought they had you fooled, but you're perceptive. You're perceptive and, and you almost played whatever this game was a little too well. That's what I'm saying. You're, you're playing this game a little too well. And it, it's like, you've really just, I don't know, I'm getting such an unpredictable energy here with this Knight of Wands. Like you really knocked somebody off their high horse is kind of the energy that I'm picking up with this Knight of Wands. Or maybe you yourself feel like you've been knocked off your high horse in a situation. But regardless, I see where there was something here, especially with the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands, like something was very unpredictable. Or there's something here in the month of December that's very unpredictable that I think you do. This is an action that you take, I think, to be completely honest with you. And it's almost like you're getting justice or there's like some kind of fairness involved. You know, you're leveling the playing field. And someone here, I think, is still a little confused. Or they're just kind of like at a standstill, like they're not making any moves because they've just been so blindsided by your unpredictable nature. So this person is just kind of sitting and waiting and they're kind of planning out their next move based on what you've possibly done or based on the actions that you've taken in this situation. This person is carefully, because like I said, Sag, this person thought they had you fooled. Like they really, really did. And I think that you just came around and bam, you know, just like Sagittarians do, right? <laughs> we just come around and bam. Um, that, that's what I'm seeing happen here. Like you came around and you just completely blew this person away. That's what I'm saying. You blew this person away. And I almost get the impression that they just don't know what to do next other than sit in waiting and carefully study and plan. Um, so this month, unfortunately, I have no idea where my yoga cards are at. I seriously have no idea. I don't know if I left them in my old apartment and I'm going to have to get them mailed here, but I have not seen them. So I'm hoping I didn't lose them in the move because <laughs> that would suck. But, um, I'm going to be using instead this universe has your back deck just for the next couple of readings until I can find them. If I don't end up finding them, I'll just buy a new one. It's not a big deal. But yeah, so the next couple of readings, um, for sure this one, maybe um, January's readings as well, I might not have the yoga cards. So it's okay, you know, it's good to try different things as well. So I just wanted to let you know. But let's look and see what messages from Spirit are present for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the month of December. Attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. So I'm picking up a phone call and it may come from somebody who asks for your help or feels like they don't know what to do. Um, I'm hearing coming to the rescue. And this is you who's coming to the rescue. Like I'm almost getting kind of like a savior energy. Like somebody feels like they have to do something in order to help somebody else. And it goes back to that justice energy. So some of you may feel like there's a group of people that are in need of help and you are coming through and trying to bring them the help that they need. Or there's some kind of injustice that the, that's been made here and you know, you're coming around to try and balance out that injustice. 
I'm also seeing like an attack, like a spiritual attack, guys. So protect your energy this month. Yeah, keep, continue to invite in loving energy from the universe. You know, you got the world card here, which indicates that sense of protection with this wreath that's wrapped around her. So you are protected. Just be conscious and be mindful to invite those energies in. Because I am seeing where somebody here is... Um, they possibly literally attack you, maybe verbally. I'm picking up more so verbally because there's a lot of swords here. Somebody may verbally attack you. Um, or spiritually attack. I'm also getting the vibe of a sexual predator. So be careful as well. Um, it could be like a father figure too, or somebody who works in like social services. And you know, those professions, they tend to attract people like that. And I'm not saying all people in social services are attracted to that, but um, professions where there are children involved usually tend to attract predators who want to be around children. And I pick up a particular sexual predator who's, who goes after like teenagers. That's what I pick up. And there might be somebody, I'm picking this up in particular if you are a Sagittarius father and you have two teenagers. There may be somebody here who's like kind of eyeing them or something. Just be careful. Um... I am picking up the general energy of a sexual predator though, so this could be any age group. So just kind of be mindful, protect yourself guys. Because there's definitely some kind of malevolent presence here that I don't really like. But you are, you're ending up on top regardless. Just maintain that high vibration and you will continue to come out on top. But that is what I'm seeing here, Sagittarius. If you'd like to book a personal reading, go ahead and click the link down below in the description box. It'll take you to my website and you can book there. But other than that, I will see you later. Take care and have a beautiful rest of your month, Sag. Bye-bye.